Uganda relies heavily on imports from various countries in East Africa and beyond in a bid to protect the economy from being flooded with harmful goods and others that might outcompete the locally produced ones. Uganda Revenue Authority imposes taxes and other checks to control the entry of these products into the country. Today, URI displayed sugar and rice which have been impounded from smugglers who use ungazated routes from South Sudan, Kenya, Rwanda and Democratic Republic of Congo. According to URA, at least 122,398 kilograms of sugar and 190,565 kilos of rice was recovered from 20 customs points. Major brands of sugar smuggled include Kawe Brown Sugar made in Rwanda, Thailand Sugar, Diamante Brown Sugar, Mozambique Sugar, and Sanarita Brown Sugar. The towns which are prone for these items are areas in the Western Nile region, in Toroko, Bundubujo, Kasese, Mpondwe, uh, and a few areas in the Eastern region. Uh, that is sugar from Thailand. There is sugar from the other side from uh, India. And this is rice from Kenya. What they mean by round tripping is that uh, when it is at the border, URA will not tax this sugar because it's slated maybe to go to Congo. And the moment it reaches the other side, uh, it is again brought back into Uganda in small quantities and when it reaches the market it means the fact that it has uh, evaded many of the taxes it will be cheaper than the product produced here in Uganda making business very hard for the manufacturers of this country. We have decided that all the re-exports of sugar, wheat flour, rice and uh, cooking oil will be uh, accompanied by a valid agreement from the country where someone is exporting these products. You must bring the agreement of sale to, when you come back to load more products, you must bring evidence that you paid taxes in those countries, in the DRC of South Sudan. Since the sugar is not tested for standards, URA warns it may be dangerous. Ugandans who buy such goods without knowing expose themselves to a lot of chemicals that these goods are exposed to in the process of smuggling them. <laughs> Two people from Arua were arrested for selling smuggled sugar. So what is next for the suspects? They may be actually subjected to uh, prosecution. They may be subjected to uh, payment of the taxes plus the fines. And in most cases, the, the, the process of subjecting them to taxes and fines will actually eat away their capital. Despite the smuggled sugar, Uganda is still grappling with the problem of sugar hoarding allegedly perpetrated by highly placed people. Sudil Biaranga, NTV.